Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes, with Peter. Hello. Say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Today is Friday. Friday, July 22nd, 2022. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're asking yourselves. Mikey Pipes, it's Friday. You said you're working Fridays anymore in the summer. You're right. But I figured I'll go on a service call because... I needed to get an extra video recorded before the weekend because I like to feed you guys seven days a week. See how I love you guys? That is love. That is the definition of love. And for you to reciprocate, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't done so already, you must subscribe. Because when we have 50,000 subscribers, it is going to be, we are going to have the most epic, epic pool party in a warm locale, in a warm locale. And there's gonna be female entertainment there. Maybe Peter will bust his cherry. Yo, right. <laughs> I'm listening to Waze. The chef is telling me to bust that right. We're around the corner. Let's see if I can get some video. Well, that's the objective of me working today. Get some video of the service call. All right, guys, stay tuned. And remember to smash that thumbs up button. If you don't, I'm going to come by and give you some cement shoes and break your kneecaps with Air Force None with his broken back. Don't worry. It could happen to you, too. Hello. Good morning. Yay. Well, and of course, my air conditioning is working. Yeah. But. What was it working? The, uh, my second floor unit. Okay. Uh, I'll show you. I didn't cancel because... I hate air conditioning, so I only put it on on Saturday <laughs> okay. because my grandson, my daughter, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, it worked for um, from Saturday till Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Completely died. And then, um, so I turned it off and turned it back on. It wouldn't go on. And then I turned what it on. Go, what, what, what was so it? I, I don't know anything about anything. Just I'm tell me sure. what was doing, what wasn't doing. It wasn't, it was a thousand degrees up there. But okay. I know from last year, one time I had it fixed and it was this fan outside. Okay. And I looked and the fan wasn't working, but it wasn't working. Okay, was the, was the air coming out of vents inside the house? So this is just the second floor system. Yeah. Um, yes, okay. at one point, but it was hot. Okay. And you looked outside and the unit outside wasn't running? Correct. Okay, and it's on right now? Correct. Uh, you want to load a temperature for me, and then uh, we'll check outside. Okay. Um, Which side of the house is the unit on? It's it's over here. Okay. Oh, you got a big backyard. Yeah. Wow. I I just put the pool in in November. Wow. So it's like you, had, you had a COVID pool. Well, you know what it is. I have my kids around here. I have six grandchildren and uh i'm lucky they live around here so if i'd rather be at the ocean uh hey, area. i'm always whatever we're going in the side door yeah so okay. it's over here you first no i could have went to the front door okay. so i know my you got three which do you know which one the second floor is it's this one it's is the pain so or the brian it looks like a pain I can tell you that it was my neighbor last year that fixed it. Okay. He's a big rigger. I'm okay. going to rig this for you, Carol. <laughs> Goldberg, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, All right, so there's, uh, so to recap, the other day or whenever it was, 100 degrees upstairs, warm air is blowing out of vents, outdoor unit is, you is know running. What? I'm saying a little bit thin. Well, we're gonna check certain things that we normally check. Okay. And we'll go from there. Okay. Let's get the tool, the tool bag and the knee pads. What did you want me to do up there? You don't have to do anything because it's on. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, like now, I did said, he replace anything last year? He, he said he rigged something. Okay. He, said. he was like, you know what, Carol? Like, if someone came, they're probably gonna tell you that you need to replace this. I'm gonna he got like a wire lean or something. Okay. And um, he might be able to tell, I don't know. He's like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm here 13 years. The thing has been here since, I don't think it was new then. It was before before your time. Correct. I put that room on so that one of the units knew. Uh, one of these. 
It's okay. 13 years, like, yeah. 13 years old. Okay, we'll check it out. Like I said, I'm one of those crazy people. If it wasn't a thousand degrees, uh, Saturday is the first day I put air conditioning on. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God bless you. Too tough. Okay. So, we have a hard start, potential relay there. We have the old school contactor. We have this Titan Pro capacitor. A lot of stuff going on in there. So we're gonna start with the capacitor and test that. We have a 45, that's a 5.1. And it's a 40.5. So the dual capacitor is still good. Let's see how the fan moves around. The fan moves around freely. Maybe, just maybe a float switch issue. Right? Condensate may be dried out. We'll have to check out the air handle. All right. Well, that just turned off oddly at that moment. All right. Hmm. Let's see if we hear the contact that pulled in. Nope. I do not hear a contactor. That's weird. A little wire sticking there. So I got money on the float switch right now. Or maybe bad thermostat. Let's go see. Check out this beautiful backyard. Wow. Gorgeous. Very nice. Nice, nice pool deck. A little bar right there. Look, outdoor TV. Feels like I'm in the Hamptons. <laughs> All right. Now, we have to figure out why. No, well, maybe we have a float switch and in the condensate. Let's see. Let's squeeze it over here. built to the condensate trap. And, yeah, she's flowing now, but maybe she wasn't flowing before. So let's take the brush, all right? That's what's great about these clear bad boys. Look at that. Let's see what kind of cocky we have right there. Oh. That's some cocky. See that cocky? Yeah, that's good cocky. Get that money right there. Cocky, let's do that again. Okay, more cocky. Good. Now, I'm also gonna go into the unit. Okay, that. that appears to be good. Excellent, let's close the cap. Put this bad boy back in there. And we should get some water and pour it down this trap. Okay. All right, so we poured this full of water into the condensate trap, draining very well. Other than some cocky in the trap, the dual capacitor checks out fine. The only thing that could be an issue here is possibly maybe the float switch uh, due to some cocky in the condensate drain. Um, she said she ran it last, it was last weekend, right? She said she turned it on Thursday or Saturday. Yeah. It didn't work. And then she turned it on and I was working, of course, but she didn't cancel the service call because she just wants us to check everything out. So the only thing other than a condensate issue would be possibly a thermostat issue. So let's go back and ask her if she heard the compressor or was just the whole entire outdoor unit not running. And then we could take a closer look at the contactor. I think if your brother was on this service call, he'd be in pig heaven. What do you think? Probably. Look at this guy. Damn. Yeah, you stay where you are, buddy. And I 
there's like something else over there too. Yeah, you stay right there, buddy. I'm out. Right, so let's. Okay, just be careful with the you know, the wires right there. If they touch metal, we're gonna be replacing a fuse in the air handler. I don't want to go back in that attic. So. Is that a chicken? <clears throat> yeah, see, I don't like that resistance reading of this, the coil on the contactor. So we'll change that. Speaking of coil resistance on contactors, generally 12 to 18 is acceptable. Here we had 26, 28. Again, I'm hunting, I'm hunting for a failure as to what caused the system not to work last week. Now, if we had a single pole contactor, we can put in a two pole contactor. If we have a two pole contactor, we can't put in a single pole contactor, right? A lot of companies like to use single pole contactors because they're cheaper, um, but we're gonna take out a two pole and we're gonna put back in a two pole. Now, if you have wiring, Right, let's say, you know, that single pole contactor, right? If you have any wiring there and you make sure you, or the two pole, make sure you put the wiring back exactly where it was. It's very important to do so because, you know, the compressor and the, the condenser fan motor both require 240 volts to operate and that's L1, L2, T1, T2. Copy? All right, let's go place this contact. All right, new contactor is in place. Peter, do the honors. Plug this bad boy in. And we have takeoff. Nice brand new contactor. It would be nice if they used the Titan HD when they replaced this, but it works and it's tested fine. Coil. Coil looks clean. Just because she looks clean doesn't mean she is, but it looks clean though. Not bad, yeah. right? And we both made $20 each. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Deep, 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 deep. Not bad, not bad. You have to work like three hours for 20 bucks. After taxes, of course. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thoughts and feedback in the comments section down below. Hope you all having a blessed day. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe.